Thorfire, a fairly well-known flashlight company, asked if I would test and review their LED work light, and so I said sure. So the past week I've been testing this out in various situations, and I'm ready to uh, show you what I think about this little flashlight. So let's jump into the review. First of all, let me give you some of the features of the product. Let's start with the size. You can see they're a little over seven and three quarters. And then this way, looking at roughly two inches. So fairly small size. On the bottom, it's got a pull-out clip that can be used as a hanger. So if you're gonna use this, say, to work on your car, you can just loop it over something on the hood there and have that to uh, look through. It folds up nicely in there. It also has a magnet. So if you've got a nice magnetic surface, you can click that to it. And uh, surprisingly, it is quite strong. If you bump into it, it's uh, not likely to just come tumbling off like uh, some cheaper flashlights do. A little bit of a grip on the side. It's not rubber, but it is raised up, so it helps you to hold on. You've got a row of 14 LEDs here on this front panel. Up here you've got a swivel that goes a full 360, and also it will angle up and down in both directions here. And then you have your two uh, magnified LEDs up top here. The product runs on four AAA batteries, and those are fairly easy to install here. That's how easy it is. It has a single function switch here on the front that is covered in rubber. So one click will turn on the front LEDs. Second click will turn it off. A third click will turn on the magnified LEDs. And then lastly, that'll turn everything back off again. As brightness goes, you can see it is nice and bright there. I've been using this setting the most here. But whenever you go out and you just spot something, it is definitely nice and bright here with the spotlight. As battery life goes, I turned on this setting and left it alone for three days. After 12 hours, it started to um, become noticeable that it was dimmer, but it did stay on for the full three days. So if you were in an emergency situation and had to have some light, um, you can definitely rely on this for three days on a new battery. Now, of course, at three days, I'll show you uh, here just how low it was at this point. So definitely fairly low. But I've really enjoyed working with this. I was trying to get my sub panel wired in here in the workshop and turned off the main breaker. And I was able to turn this part on and angle it and then stick that to some metal and work in the dark, so definitely very helpful. If you're in the market for a flashlight, I do recommend you check out Thor Fire. I will link the Amazon page below. They have several models to choose from, and of course this one is there as well. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.